Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about introduction to core into a casting process. So let us start with the introduction about core. So just you can see the different terminologies that will be used into a casting process. So let us see the lower portions that will be used into the sand castings that will be known as a drag. On to the top of the drag, it will be utilization as a cop. And cop and drag that will be fixed and making a flask or you can say mold flask. And into a mold, there will be a sand is being filled and it will be making a cavity. So just you can see the different terminologies that will be used. So starting with a pouring cup that will be connected with a down sprue or you can say the vertical passages for filling a molten form of the metals towards a cavity. Then the down sprue which will be connected with a runner. So by the pouring cup, down sprue, runner, riser and molten metal it will be entering into a cavity. And the application of core, which will be important part for this theory. So if you want to make a hollow cast product, so the core is being placed into a cavity. So as per the my requirements of the shape and size, the different types of core is being placed into a cavity. So basically core that will be supporting with the help of core prints or you can say it will be like into a horizontal positions around a parting lines or you can say in between cop and drag. So just you can see core is an obstructions which when positioning into the mold naturally does not permit the molten metal to fill up the space occupied by the core into the cavity. So in this way a core produce is a hollow castings. So this is the basic requirements of the core into a casting process to make a hollow cast product. Cores are required to create the recesses, undercuts and interior cavities that are often a part of a castings. So if you want to make a hollow product then and then core is being placed. So a core may be defined as a sand shape or form which makes the counter of a castings for which no provisions has been made into a pattern for making a mold. So core as a sand shape is generally producing separated from a sand mold and is then backed or you can say it will be making a harden to facilitate handling and setting into the mold. So that will be the basic process it will be performing onto a core materials. Then cores may be made up of sand materials. Sometimes it will be also made with a metallic materials or you can say from plaster or ceramic materials. But the core basically that will be used to make a hollow castings. So different functions or you can say purposes of cores. So let us see. This is the basic arrangement of the core into the cavity. Here in this figure it will be into a horizontal positions. So as per the my requirements of the different shape and size of the cast product it will be into the horizontal, vertical, sometimes it will be into a overhanging positions. So that will be depends upon my complexity and the shape of my cast product. So for hollow castings, cores provide the means of the forming the main internal cavities. Cores may be provide external undercuts features. So that will be you can also make with the help of core into a sand casting process. Cores may be employed to improve the mold surfaces. Cores may be inserted to achieve the deep recesses into a casting process. Cores may be used to strengthen the molds. So that will be also one of the functions of the core into the sand casting process. Cores may be used to form the getting systems of large size of the molds. Now essential characteristics of dry sand cores or you can say in simple way characteristics of cores. So basically this is the general arrangement of the core that we already learned. So a core must be processing sufficient strength to support itself and to get handled without breaking. Then 
हाई परमिबिलिटी टू लेट द मूल गैसेस एस्केपिंग थ्रू द मूल वॉइस सो यू शुड ऑल्सो रिड्यूसिंग द सम ऑफ द डिफेक्ट इन टू अ सैंड कास्टिंग प्रोसेस देन स्मूथ सर्फेसिस टू एंश्योर अ स्मूथ कास्टिंग दैट विल बी ऑल्सो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द कोर हाई रिफ्रेक्टर इनेज टू विच ट्रेन द एक्शन ऑफ द हॉट मेटल्स और यू कैन से ड्यूरिंग द मोल्टन मॉटल दैट विल बी पुअरिंग इन टू द केविटी सो दिस मोल्टन फॉर्म ऑफ द मेटल्स इट विल बी अराउंड द कोर सो दिस कोर मटेरियल्स दैट विल बी ऑल्सो मेड विद द सैंड मटेरियल्स और यू कैन से मेटालिक मटेरियल्स एंड विथ हाई रिफ्रेक्टर इनेज टू विच ट्रेन द एक्शन ऑफ द मोल्टन मेटल्स so such kind of materials that will be withstanding the high temperature molten form of the metals then high collapsibility in order to assist the free constructions onto a solidifying metal so what happens after the solidification take place into a kvt what happens these core materials that will be easily collapsible then and then you should make a hollow cast products so good collapsibility that will be also the requirements of the core materials those ingredients which do not generate the mold gases so different types of cores cores may be classified according to the state or can say condition of the core first one green sand core second one dry sand core third one nubeck sand core second conditions that will be the nature of the core materials is to be employed so in that case oil bonded cores second resin bonded cores third sal cores fourth sodium silicate cores the third category the types of core hardening process is being employed so for that co2 process is being used second the hot box process is being used third the cold set process is being used to making a core fourth one fluid or castable sand process is being used and fifth one puran no back sand is being used sixth one oil no back process is being used and uh, some another conditions like the shape and positioning of the core so that will be also important in case of the complexity of the shapes is being found into the hollow castings so basically first one that will be horizontal core second one vertical core third one hanging or cover core fourth one balance core fifth one drop core or you can say stop off core six ones ram up cores seven key cores so basically these all are the types of cores if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching